Hey guys, Sasha from NetworkNews.com. We're over here in Taipei at the W Hotel because uh, NVIDIA had an event over here introducing some new notebook graphic uh, processors. And uh, Jeff from NVIDIA is standing next to me and he's going to explain us a little bit about what you guys just announced today. And we have a bunch of new notebooks, gaming notebooks over here. So what, what, what was the big topic today? Oh, what we're really excited about today is we're really sharing and showing off a lot of these great new GeForce GTX 500 series or 500M series yeah. products. So you're looking at the GTX, meaning the gaming <laughs> segment. So right. everywhere from the 560M, 570M, 580M, even 580M in SLI. Okay, so uh, actually an SLI GPU, dedicated GPU for a notebook. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure, is that new? Is it very new or are there SLI GPUs already been around? Well, S I'm not a mobile game, I'm sorry. <laughs> no well, our GPUs basically do support SLI, which right, is basically right. multiple GPUs or dual yeah, GPU yeah. mode, right? So um, it's just the matter of, does it make sense to put it in a notebook? Does it make sense to put it in a, like the Uber fastest gaming notebook right, right. and if our customers or if the end users actually want this type of stuff. So right. you're seeing that people are really pushing the limits of technology and performance trying to you know, really get the most out of a mobile platform. Talking about limits, talking about performance, let's take a quick look at some platforms. Over here we have the Asus G74 with your GTX 560M. Is this the entry level uh, uh, GPU? Uh, no, it's it's not an entry level. It's from entry level. We've got our GeForce GT series, right, 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 with like the 520, 540. Right. In terms of GTX, that. yes, GTX. You're looking at the 560 all the way up to the 580. Okay. Yeah. So what you can see over here is a 3D Street Fighter version. Well, obviously you just can't experience it right now. But I tell you one thing. I have the glasses on, and it works, and it looks pretty <laughs> cool. So over here we also have another Asus. It's a G53 which was uh, running StarCraft 2 before. Yeah, um, I think went into suspend mode. Okay, <laughs> you know what? Oh, someone unplugged the... <laughs> <laughs> unplugged Talk, it. Talking about battery life with high-end gaming notebooks, let's switch over to the Clio X70... 7200. 7200, which is the one with the GTX 580M SLI. And this one is running, it's called Witcher 2. Now guys, look at this graphics here. Isn't that amazing? Look All the shades. Full HD and crank everything on. So that's 1080p, uh, full details, and uh, I don't even want to know what the power consumption of this little device is, but it looks absolutely brilliant. You know, all the particles here. Look at this. It's really cool. It is a desktop experience, a desktop gaming experience in a mobile device. Well, you can hear the fan. <laughs> and you can hear the fan. No, I but think I mean, it's because he's standing oh. in fire. Right oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we rock, we rock around this issue, definitely. Over here we have another Clevo. It's a P150HM, with come with a, which comes with a GTX 580M. Not the SLI version, but this one is running now. Um, that's Crisis, Crisis 2. 2, right? Crisis 2 and DX11 in all its full glory and the other thing is you'll notice that this for 580m is actually pretty thin oh totally to like the SLI version so they intentionally went with a 15 inch screen made it smaller really cool and packed in a lot of power and I tell you what that's not too bad even though that we are ultra mobile computing guys but still um, that's very decent and again the graphics are absolutely phenomenal and um, then Left of it, we have the MSI GT 780DX, which comes with a GTX 570M, and this is, uh, I think, Alice uh, Madness 2, something yes. like that. This is Madness 2, uh, Alice 2, Madness Returns. Okay, and, there, there um, you go. You're really seeing a lot of great physics effects Look at here. this, and all the leaves. Yeah, and you have physics and effects all cranked up on this right now. Wow. So really no, seriously, that's absolutely phenomenal. I've never seen anything like this on a notebook platform. I don't know how many frames it's running, but it's super smooth and, uh, yeah, really cool. And last but not least, we have another MSI notebook over here, the GT68 III with our GTX 560M, and this is uh, called... Hux 2. Hux 2. Yep. This, is, this is a benchmark that is running right now. Oh, yeah, easier to show. But, I mean, <laughs> look at this, guys. 
you really see the detail that DX11 brings and Tessellation brings to the right. terrain. And making games like these, even like these flight simulator games, look much more realistic. Yeah. And it just changes the level of detail that you really want to see when you play these games. That's absolutely brilliant. This was actually the game you guys showed at your GPU conference in the uh, in the oh, keynote. Oh, oh yeah, 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 last, last keynote. Keynote. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. Well, last that time. I believe we actually showed it side by side, so that yeah. you can see. Yeah. Uh, without tessellation and without a GeForce GPU, you get like a, you know, really flat terrain, mm -hmm. um, just big ass um, polygons that you're, you know, probably more used to in normal like older games. Right. But now right. with the X11 tessellation, you're really able to, you know, get all this detail in there, making the world come. Um, more alive. Oh, wait, look mm, at this. It's amazing. Absolutely impressive, Jeff. Well, you, well, NVIDIA really pushed it to the limit somehow, but uh, the final question uh, is uh, when can people actually buy these products? So are they already available right now? From what I understand, for the Zeus and MSI ones, they're pretty much available right now. Clevo, they usually sell through um, right, right. other brands. Yeah. So yeah. I believe most of them are actually available as well. Um, just depends on what region you're in or where you're at. Um, absolutely fantastic. Really cool stuff. Uh, the new GeForce GTX series from NVIDIA. I'm searching for networknews.com. Thanks for watching and thank you, Jeff. Thank you.